of the redstone break. In today's break I'm going to be showing you how to build a very simple combination lock that only uses buttons, redstone dust, repeaters, and comparators. There is actually no pistons involved so it is a very silent system. Before I start, like usual, I'm going to just give you a quick example of how this works. So over here you have buttons right here on the wall. You can have up to nine but only three of them are the correct combination. You can set up less or more if you want to, but I like doing three and five. So if I press the right combination here, one, two, three, you will see that the green light comes on and this light right here is my output saying that I got the combination right. But for example, if I click just two of these, I will get a red light flashing saying that no, I did not get the combination right. Now this system here is pretty good and pretty secure because you can just spam all the buttons right here and you will never know if you get the right combination right because you have to press the enter button after. And the good thing about this enter button here is it resets the whole system. So if I put in the correct combination here as you see and then press the green button I will get the output there but if I press the green button again it will not open just because I have it set up that way. Now let me just quickly show you the redstone in the back of it and how everything works. Now if you watched my first ever redstone break, you will see something very familiar. It is the RS Norlatch. And the RS Norlatch allows me to set a current and reset a current whenever I want to. Behind the buttons over here, I just have normal redstone torches set up to repeaters to level out the current. And the green wool over here just indicates my correct combination and the output is over there and the red wool just indicates my incorrect combination. Now the good thing about the RS Norlatch is it allows me to reset the combination lock every time the wrong button is pressed or if I press the enter button and I do not have the correct combination. Now that you saw the redstone circuitry, let's get started at building this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just find a spot where you want to put this combination lock. I've made a platform right here, which I'm going to set up all my buttons on. So what you want to do is just make a nice 3x3 three three area, or you can put all your buttons right here, just like that, putting the blocks up, and then fill in with whatever blocks you like. Now, the shape of the buttons that you want to do is however you want. What I like doing is the normal cross right there, but what you can do, since it is a silent circuit, you can just put some dummy buttons up over there. So they do not know if they're pressing the right button or not. Just have those there like that. So you make a little nice design right there. The next thing you're going to want to do is just fill out your wall right there. Two blocks and then place a button right here in this block. Next step is just putting in your output light. So I like to start with the red one on the bottom there. You just put one red wool, the lamp, another red wool, and then a block of quartz down there to finish that off. And then you just want to have a block of quartz gap in the middle. It can be any block, whatever you want. And then your green wool, and then green wool, and your light right there. Surrounded by a couple more blocks of quartz, and that is just the lights done and done. Now in the back over here, it might be different for you guys, but what I'm going to do is place my redstone torches in the original spot how I had it, and the normal cross like that. What you can do if you only want it to be two numbers or three numbers, you can just put less torches there. But I have five here, so I can have three right buttons, and then two that would reset the circuit. Again, the buttons over here are just dummy buttons, and your friends could just be clicking them nonstop, not knowing what the combination is because of the set key over here. Wiring up all these buttons right here might be different for you guys, depending on when you have the torches. But if you're using the same setup as me, what I like to do is start at the bottom right here. And just put a piece of redstone dust right there with a repeater set at two ticks and a block up there with a piece of redstone dust and that's for that bottom one there for now. The next thing I want to do is just do the two middle ones because they are pretty easily. You just put two blocks like that, a block like that, and then two repeaters just like this. Now this gives those buttons individual outputs 
And the next one I want to do is the top one right here. So I'm going to place a block like that. Redstone dust right there. A block. I think I used the creative mode. Just right there. And then a block out to the side. Down like that. And then down like that. For the next one, uh, oh, I'm just going to put the redstone dust down there. Continuing there. And yes. <laughs> Just like that. Actually, there's going to be a repeater right here at two ticks. Perfect. For the next one here, I want to put a block out to the side, up like that, and then have your repeater right here, both at one tick, and then your redstone dust there. Now I want to come back to the bottom block over here. Just make sure that nothing connects. It does not. And then have my redstone just going out like that. And then just in front of all these repeaters, I want to place block. This just separates all the um, input from the button just so your your wiring doesn't get crossed and I like just putting everything in a flat line just because it makes it easier to work with everything else. The next thing you want to do is just test your button. So I have the top one over there. Just want to make sure that it's not powering anything else. Perfect. The middle one. I saw that one. That's good. The far left. That is good bottom one which might be a little bit hard to test that is good and the right one over here perfect everything is good once you have everything set up in the order that you want it to be in you just want to place a redstone torch on all five of those blocks there now for my favorite part setting up the rs nor latches what you want to do is just come out to the blocks that you want your combination to be so I'm going to set it up how I have it in that one over there. And it's going to be three buttons here. And it's this button, that button, and that button. Just to make my RS snatch, RS nor latch, sorry, even easier. But if you want, you can set it up to a button there, 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 or there, there, or just even one button. They don't they don't know it's just one button. Uh, but I like just doing it there, 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 just because it's easier. Say you want to have um, a different combination. You can just move around these repeaters over here. And then just have it at the one, two, three, but it won't be the same three buttons I have over there. So now to do the RS nor latch, it's pretty simple. What you want to do is just make sure that you are one block uh, of gap between this block and uh, your bottom block, and then just place two blocks up like that, and then one over there. And then what you want to do now is just connect all the blocks going along over here. And then on the three that you want your button, you just do the little L shape and then make sure that there's a gap over in there. Next thing you want to do is on the button, on the, sorry, blocks with uh, your L shapes, you want to just place a bit of redstone dust down like that and then put a redstone torch on the face of those blocks. Oops, I missed the block right here. There we go. The last thing for the RS Norlatch is just putting a redstone torch behind there like that and I forgot to put a piece of redstone dust at the bottom in front of them there. Now in front of these here what you want to do is just put a repeater which might be a little bit hard to place because of that. So you just go behind there put a repeater there, a repeater there and can I get that one? If I dig down I can. Uh, I might be able to get it. I might be able to get it. If I sneak in I can sneak in right there. Can I sneak it in? No. <laughs> Give me one second. Let me just sneak that repeater in. Woof. It took a while. But uh, to get that repeater in, <laughs> the easiest thing to do is just come right here and then click right there. Now, on the top of the uh, RS Nor Latches, what you want to do is just extend these two blocks out and then put two repeaters out of the ones that do not have redstone dust on them and then two blocks in front of those repeaters there a block under it like that and a piece of redstone dust on them like that. Next thing you want to do is just put a repeater in between these to connect them together and then another repeater down here just so that the current does not get caught with that there and then redstone dust coming out of that repeater there and then what I like doing because this is actually the reset part of your circuit so what I like doing is just breaking the blocks where my red wool is going to go so it's just a little L shape coming from that repeater all the way to the back of these repeaters over here. So 
this just helps me when I'm wiring everything together to let me know that, hey, this is a reset circuit. And then it just makes everything visually a whole lot better just in case there's a problem to fix. So you just want to put redstone dust coming out that repeater all the way to the back of these here. And then we can give it a little test. So if I click on, oh, it's actually already, <laughs> everything's already set. So if I click on any button that is not the ones I set up, so the ones being these three down here, and these are dummy buttons, so they won't do anything anyway. Um, but if I click on this button right here, you will see that if I go to the back here, that the current on top of all these here are reset. So that's a quick and simple way to reset your circuit without having to go to the back of it or doing anything yourself. The next part of the circuit that you're going to want to hook up is this part for the correct combination. So in front of the blocks that have the redstone torches on it, what you're going to want to do is just place three pieces of green wool, and on top of that, there's a piece of redstone dust there, redstone dust, and then on faces of the green wool, just a redstone torch like that. Now in this line in front of the green blocks, which is has one block of gap between the green and the white, uh, you're going to want to place just a line of green wool going like that until you get to this empty gap right here. And then after that, you're going to want to go up one block and then place green wool all the way until you get to this redstone torch like that. The next thing you're going to want to do is just come back to the green wool and then place a line of redstone going all the way until the end. Just like that. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is hook up your button. Uh, which is pretty simple to do. So as we recall, the button is in the top right corner over here. So what you're going to do is just come over here and then place a redstone torch on top of it like that. And then have four blocks coming out there. And it should connect up with the green wool there. Now in front of the torch, what you're going to do is put a comparator right there. A block in front of that comparator. And then a piece of redstone dust connecting it over there. Now... For this comparator, what we want to do is we want to shorten this signal just so our circuit's a whole lot smaller. So you're going to set this comparator into subtract mode. After that, you're going to get a chest, put it down there, and then fill it up with 18 non-stackable items. So that is two rows. I'm using bows in this case only because it's the item that I used, but you can use anything that is non-stackable as long as you get two full rows of that. After that, what you want to do is just get another comparator out and then put a piece of redstone dust like there. And that should lower the signal that you have coming out from here, which would set up the next part of your circuit. For the last part of your circuit, what you want to do is come back to the back over here. And on the last green wool there, what you want to do is just place a redstone torch, torch down there with redstone dust there. A repeater coming out of that at 4 ticks, a red block there, and another repeater at 1 tick, and then a red block in front of it there with a torch on it there. After, what you want to do is come back to the block that has a comparator in it, and then in front of that block you want to place a red block up over there. Two more blocks coming out to the side, a block out like that with a redstone repeater on it, and then on the rest of the blocks you just want to lay down some redstone dust. When you have done that, you want to come to the front of the repeater here, place three blocks going up like that, break the middle block, and then just make a nice little staircase down with redstone dust on top of the red blocks. The next thing you want to do is come back to the redstone torch over here, put a repeater at the normal setting, and then a redstone dust in front of that there. After you come back over here, you want to put two repeaters down, a redstone dust there, another repeater down here, a block with redstone on it, and then another observer block facing this way. If I can get it, oh, uh, I can maybe get it, I'll just break this, and like that. And believe it or not, this is the whole circuit done. What this red circuit is going to do is if you have the right combination, this redstone torch is going to turn on, and then this torch will not turn on, so the red light will not come on. But if the correct combination is not right, as you see it over there, when you click the button over there, it will power off this and power back on, and then turn that redstone light on. 
Now let's just give a quick test of the system to see if everything is working. So I'm going to just put in random numbers there and then press the button and you see the red light flashes. The green light did not flash. So let me just press the right combination and the green light flashed. The red light did not flash. And let me just press the button again to see if it resets and it does reset. So everything is perfect and done. So like I said before, this is your output over here. So whatever you want to hook up your your combination to, that's what you have to put the redstone dust to. But unfortunately, that is all I have time for today. Thank you for watching the redstone break, and I'll see you guys later.